back to choose your own path. So the other day we made a video, uh, or I, I made a video of working on this uh, owl walking stick and uh, I don't know what the hell happened. I lost, I lost a whole like hours worth of um, filming. So, and let me show you. My owl turned out to be some sort of Egyptian cat with feathers. I don't know what the hell I was on. It just, it's it's not what I wanted, but it still looks okay. I'll put a hole in it. We'll just put that somewhere. Anyway, so I started over. I started over last night. Today is Friday, so Thursday night. Um, took another piece. And so this one has more of an owl look. Um, it's I'm going to try to get his head to sort of turn. So you just got to have that angle of a uh, little bit more here, a little less here pushing downwards here so it looks like his head's turned. I also uh, debarked my uh, diamond willow. You can see this is diamond willow. Um, it needs a lot of sanding and then once you put a stain to this uh, it pops out really well, really nice. I drilled a hole at the bottom and all that. Uh, the only thing that's different that what I'm going to be working on is because this stick is obviously not as wide as the piece of basswood. I'm using basswood. I have a nice big chunk back there. I was going to make a project for a buddy, but um, it, it's just, it's too complicated for me. And, you know, I, I, I bought the wood, so I might as well start using it on something like this. Little pieces would be nice. Um, is to bring down, like, if what I'm trying to say is, if I'm carving the owl down more, I have to be careful because you can see where the hole is to make them smaller. So I gotta keep them portioned properly. Um, there's always gonna be that little lip here. Like there's a lit lot of a lip here. There's almost like an inch and a half, maybe an inch here on both sides. So I'm gonna work on that, bring it down. I just want you guys to see the look of what it's, of what's going on, the process of of the owl, how I'm trying to get it. Um, and we'll go from there. So I uh, hope you know this works out and uh, I don't lose any more film or, or footage. All right, it's right back. So start whittling it down, or bringing it down. I'm using a uh, cut saw. It's a, like a little sanding burr. I'll leave the descriptions uh, of where you could find these tools below. It's uh, with the promotion code RV Woodcraft in uh, capitals. So you get a 5% off kind of thing. Um, this basswood is like super, super easy to carve. So something like this is good enough. Because if you go into a more extreme bit, um, it takes out a lot. It, it, you can do it. I when, I, when I cut this off the block, I wanted it big enough to fit on here so that I could put, you know, a hole in there. So I still have, you can see I have lots of room to carve away. I could keep on thinning this guy down. I don't want to make him too thin. If he stand, if he sits on this piece of wood and there's a gap here, you know, it's okay. You want to look at the, the owl and the stick. Um, but we'll try to thin it out. I don't want to go too thin, like I said. So just with, <clears throat> just with, again, using away from you, using a little stop cut and then bringing it down it helps that it helps that so you don't cut through more than you need to i'm not <clears throat> i'm not a knife cutter knife carver i should say i'm not a knife carver i have them because when stuff i do small stuff like this um, it does help um, i'm not very good at precision with the knife it's just the way it is and then you could just get in there and go. So, like I said, I'm just trying to turn his head, tilt his head a bit so he has that look. So he can look to, I guess, my left. All right. So I'll keep on doing this. I'll show you what's going on. Again, did it again. So this is what I came up with. This was my first design. Looks like a cat. Maybe an Egyptian cat. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. So got it myself out one of those old cheap burrs. That's what I made the uh, feathers with. And I took the wood burner and I burnt them in and then I put the face on it. So next thing I'm gonna do is I don't have any primer on me. So I'm just using a very, very watered down um, white paint. So we're gonna add this on just, just to give it easier cover. So when we do put our paints on, we'll know what's going on. 
So I'm going to do this. And we're going to figure out, once this is dried, we're going to end up putting on the, uh, all the other paints. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So we're going to mark this off as part one because I didn't show you very much in my own stupidity. So I just wanted to get this to you, at least that much you can see. This will take like 20 minutes to dry, and then we can start doing the paint. So part one of doing the owl stick. Oh, yeah, let me just show you. The, the actual stick uh, is, um, I took off all the burrs and I sanded it down. Nothing funny to see. You'll see more of it when it's done. All right, thanks for watching. See you on part two. Like, subscribe, and share. Leave me a comment. We'll go from there. Choose your path.